At this point, you know, the field event athletes and the sprinters have been practicing six, since October. Cross country season ended somewhere around middle November. We kind of had our, our first somewhat opening indoor meet in Birmingham um, on December 3rd and that was kind of just to allow the sprinters and jumpers and throwers an opportunity to compete after training, you know, virtually all fall um, and give them a mark to go into the, to the Christmas break and going into the new year. So we saw some good marks at that meet, although it really wasn't uh, a full meet for us. It was just kind of get a measure of how things were going. Um, the distance runners, it took a little bit of time to let them recover from the cross country season, let them take a break. And then we started then back training right after, about two weeks after regionals. Three, two, one, go. Stay on it right here, here we go. A little quicker here, a little quicker. Just off your effort here, just off your effort. Nice job, nice job. Alright, that's 90, that's halfway right there. So it certainly takes a lot of the pressure off of me um, as the head coach to be able to split up in different event groups. It's, it's nearly impossible to run a sprint practice, a jumps practice, a throws practice, and a distance and middle distance practice at the same time. And just wait till the boys get to you, the 100 mark, then we'll start. So you guys don't overlap. Coach Shannon's done a really good job. Of, of taking that that group under his wing. He is their coach. He is the sprints and jumps coach. He handles all the scheduling and all that for them. All right, ready, set, go. And I, I go out to practices every once in a while just to kind of see how things are going and see if they need me need my help. And it's nice to be able to just kind of walk around and encourage people rather than having to actually coach in those practices. And it's nice to be able to kind of stick, take a step back and do that and let somebody who's doing a really good job in that event take it and make it their own. Stay tall, Esteban, don't lean forward. Good work, good work. 58, 59, 101. Obviously, I guess we can't start talking about track and field without talking about Kyle Ray. He's the first all-region athlete we've ever had in our track and field program. I will say that if he converts the way that he's been jumping in practice to competition, that um, he will give himself a very good opportunity to go to the national championships. Indoor and outdoor, we know that he's got the capability to do that. Uh, he's putting in the work to do that, so he's definitely one of the biggest standouts in the program. Uh, now that we have a, a meet at the end of the season where we're going to be competing for a for a championship, where we're, we're scoring the meet for points and those kind of things with schools that are in the USA South, um, it will be a good event for us to try and win a team championship and see who can put everything together to try and contribute points to the team, and that's the most important factor. 